What's up guys, welcome back to Clunker Revival. I'm happy to report we're in the final stages of saving another clunker. So let's hit it and wrap this thing up and get her ready for the road. First up, let's chop and make a new brake line. You can see in this brake line, it's too short. So we have to weld in a section, but first we have to cut it and measure. So we can about cut it off right here and weld in a stick, straighten that out. It's a little bit of dust bowl, right? Couple inches, size and end. About there. So we got a five inch stick on there, it'll put us a little bit out the back. Mm -hmm. So we'll push even five and a quarter. Here you can see we're adding a five and a quarter inch section of a metal rod. Then we re-weld it, grind it down, and put it on the bike. Okay. After confirming with my good buddy Jeff that we're not building a Rolls Royce here and instead we're just saving a clunker and realizing that we didn't have much to begin with for the budget, a whopping $3.99, we thought we found some success after adding in the rod and would test the new brake cable. Yeah, buddy, she's coming along. Up next, we thought we'd fix the kickstand. The bike had a kickstand, but it didn't have a return spring on the kickstand, so it was just loose and would open and close. So we thought we'd get creative with a very small budget and see what we could come up with. Drill a hole in there in your wide selection of random bolts over there. We could drill it out and then put the bolt in a ways and then weld it so it'd be stronger. Let's do that. Do that a couple more times. Then we wired up in a key ignition switch. It's a two-way switch, pretty simple. We just wanted to have a key to turn on and off. With the ignition switch in, we thought we'd show you the process to start up the bike. So on to the last step of this project, changing the rear ball tire. After doing some research and checking up the interweb, I found a very inexpensive tire on that jungle website. So time to get out the old tire spoons, put on some good music, get some cold beers, get this tire off the bike, and just get it done.
the tire mounted, we got it back on the bike, and it couldn't look any better. I'm glad this part of the project is complete. After we got the bike all back together, took it for a couple test drives, our little slip-on pipe kept falling off. It had a sleeve that held it in place, but the sleeve, after a bump or two, would come loose and the slip-on pipe would fall off. We were really left with no other choice but to weld the header pipe to the slip-on pipe. We were just trying to silence the bike down with this nice little slip-on. It did turn out to be a bigger pain, but in the end we welded the two together and got our buttoned up. So after fixing the exhaust, putting on a new rear tire, fixing the brake line, rejetting the carburetor, and so many other little things, I would say that this clunker has been saved. It was a great little project for a bike that was left for dead, and I think we should listen to it one last time. Thanks for watching this episode of Clunker Revival. Stay tuned for more episodes where we move on to another project. And I'm so glad that we put this one to rest.